fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel i can promise you this so dear friends today i am super super excited because today's video is going to be a story time <laughs> yes guys this video is going to be a very beautiful love story of a nigerian lady by the name of telma who found love when she least expected it with a guy from hungary so my beautiful ladies from nigeria who are asking me bella why is that you never share a video of a nigerian lady with a white guy we have a story today i heard you <laughs> And guys this story is going to be very very interesting you have got a lot to learn from this story because i talked to telma and she gave you lots lots of tips starting from if you are on online dating apps searching for the one what to do you know tips and tricks <laughs> to help you around she also gave you tips if you are in africa or let's say you are in jamaica you are in the philippines you want to find a white man for marriage what to do apart from the online dating apps isn't that good <laughs> plus if you are in a long distance relationship oh my god today's video will help you a lot because guys i saw this couple on instagram <laughs> their instagram name is peter x telma i reached out to them and the reason why i reached out to them it's because of their long distance relationship story she used to share the photos share everything that is going on on their long distance relationship so i got so curious that is why i reached out to them to ask for their love story and i am so happy they accepted so because they have been in a long distance relationship you have got lots lots of things to learn from today's story and lastly that you're going to learn from this story guys i know if you are there in africa you are in the caribbean you are in the philippines and you're interested in interracial marriages sometimes it can be very very challenging you see an interracial couple and you are like oh my god i wonder how this lady got this white man i wish she could share with me so that maybe i can get one or two tips from her <laughs> that will help me also find the one so that is why guys i decided to share with you this story i'm repeating you're going to learn a lot how is it like to date a guy from hungary <laughs> you guys have been asking me bella do more videos on how it's like so how it's like today <laughs> to date a guy from hungary you will learn from this story how is it like to date a white guy how is it like to be in a long distance relationship guys there is a lot so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our story <laughs> so dear friends as you all know i always share with you the past love relationship experience of the person or of the lady who is sharing her love story so this takes us to know how was Thelma's past love relationship experience like was she in a relationship with a nigerian guy and if yes how was it like what pushed her to be in a relationship with that guy from hungary <laughs> who is peter let's find out guys so friends yes telma tells us she was in a relationship with a nigerian man or i might say nigerian man she tried her best to show romantic interest towards nigerian men 
but the problem is they never gave the love back you know when you are in a relationship with a guy as a woman you expect to get the love back you can't just be the only one loving someone without being loved back so Thelma was facing that problem she tells us the only thing that these men liked from her is because she was tall beautiful slim and light skinned immediately when they could get what they want from her they walked away so it was a very very big challenge with Thelma and that was her past love relationship experience with Nigerian men so it reached an extent she was like no I am done I'm not going to continue force myself to these men show love interest and I don't get anything so she closed with nigerian men so guys when Thelma talked about nigerian men liking her because she is light-skinned this reminded me recently there is someone who commented on the video about east african women <laughs> you know i was talking about east african women how they look like their character if you want to date them what to expect so someone commented on that video and was saying that most tanzanian women they bleach themselves that means they don't love their skin color they want to look like white ladies but i am telling you guys most african women who bleach themselves it's not that they don't like their color it's not that they want to look like white women no guys it's because of the mentality that most african men have put into us they make us believe that if you are light-skinned then you are very beautiful and you have got a very big chance to be liked by men <laughs> For example, in Tanzania, there are some cultures, if you are light-skinned and a man comes to pay for the bride price, you know it is our culture to pay the bride price. So if you are light-skinned, that man is going to be told to pay a higher bride price than if you were dark-skinned. Yes, this is the truth, guys. It is so, so sad, but that's the truth. So most black women bleach their skin to impress black men. It's because most black men, I'm talking of Tanzanian men, now we are hearing Nigerian men prefer more light-skinned ladies. But guys, as your sister who loves you so much, I'm telling you, never change your skin color. Just love it the way it is and take a good care of it so after having bad relationships with nigerian men and ending it she decided to stay single and one thing you need to know about Thelma, she tells us that it was her childhood dream to get married to a white man even if she dated black men she was trying to see if it's gonna work out yes it was her childhood dream to get married to a white man yes she was attracted to white men but if she could get the same attraction to any man of any color then she could date that man but her preference is to white men and the reason why she was attracted to white men it's because she grew up around white men they used to treat her good and that pushed her to look for a way to look for that way to man so that she can achieve her childhood dream so guys as you all know when you are in africa it is very difficult to come across white men <laughs> though it's not impossible it is very very possible and to the end of this video you will really learn that it's not impossible to find a white guy in africa who will love you and marry you so the only place that she saw there was a good potential there was a big chance for her to find that white man was the dating apps <laughs> so she joined different dating apps to try her luck and she tells us she joined Badu, she joined okay cupid joined tinder and the whole time she spent on online dating apps she did not find anyone the experience wasn't the good one and i asked her what were the challenges so she told me that her first challenge most men ask for nude photos all know that it has been a very big problem so most men were asking her for nude photos 
others were just you know playing games passing time she also says most men that she came across on online dating apps they are fake they did not look exactly as their photos also came across a guy that they chatted for a while and everything was going well but came to find out that that guy had just left the girlfriend and he was not over it the ex <laughs> So she really got very disappointed, frustrated, decided to take a break on online dating apps. So that was her experience on online dating apps. So guys, with this, I asked her, would you advise any lady to go on online dating apps to search for the one? She told me, yes, Bella, I would advise any lady who is searching for a white man to go on online dating apps search for the one only that she should know online dating apps is not a magic bullet it needs attention and time so she tells you that if you are on online dating apps searching don't give up no matter what just know that there will be bad dates and good dates just concentrate on those good dates keep on searching because someone is out there waiting for you and the reason why toma advised you guys to try online dating apps is because her friend found the one on badu yes so she believes that someone can find love on online dating apps only that you should give it time be patient she also added that if you are really looking for the one you are interested in interracial marriages don't give up keep searching you will find the one also she advises you guys that you shouldn't have only online dating app strategy pair it with offline strategy that is telma's advice to you all ladies with that you are good and that is why guys i've been advising you that please put yourself out there don't put all your eggs in one basket <laughs> yeah this is the meaning that yes you are on online dating app searching for the one but at the same time you should put yourself out there because you are single and ready to mingle <laughs> yes and as the video continues she also shared of the places you can go and you know put yourself out there who knows someone might be out there also looking for the right woman so friends after Toma trying on online dating apps and it did not work decided to take a break she remained single but was ready to mingle put herself out there and it happened that her best friend who found love on Badu was getting married in South Africa, then invited Tauma. So she was very, very happy after getting that invite and started preparing herself. You know us ladies, guys, <laughs> when you're invited to the wedding, you start planning what kind of a dress you're going to put on, what kind of shoes you should wear, <laughs> you know, look the best. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what Toma was doing and the wedding day approached. Toma traveled from Nigeria to South Africa for the wedding. So guys, when she arrived at the wedding, everything was very good. The wedding was very beautiful. And guys, at the wedding, there was this cute white guy that was staring at Toma the whole day. <laughs> and when the wedding ended, this guy went straight to where Toma was asked her her name she said i am Telma. what's your name the guy told Telma, i am peter <laughs> so peter asked Telma her phone numbers and her email then that is where everything started guys and guys before i forget about peter why he was at that wedding it's because he was the best friend of the groom and was invited at the wedding <laughs> yeah so guys Toma tells us that after that day at the wedding peter started writing to Telma on google chat and then they started chatting so guys they continued chatting on google chat and peter told Telma that he is interested in her would like to know her more so that they can create a love relationship Telma accepted because i've told you guys she was single <laughs> yes they continued chatting every day 
Thelma tells you that it has not passed a day that they did not communicate. I'm coming to you ladies who are on online dating apps chatting, you are in a long distance relationship chatting. Just like I said in my last video that communication is very important, you should make sure you guys communicate every day. That is when you will know if a guy is really serious, not those guys who disappear. So we are learning too from Thelma and Peter's story that they used to communicate every day. That shows commitment. Being in a long distance relationship needs commitment. And these people are ready to take that commitment so that their relationship can work. So guys, they continued chatting and as they were chatting, Peter introduced Thelma to his relatives on a video call. Also Thelma introduced Peter to her relatives. Yes, this is a very, very good thing. I've also talked about this. If you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps, he tells you he loves you so much. He is so serious with you, asking you to show him your relatives everyone close to you but when you ask him to show you his relatives and his friends he's like no you need to wait we need to get to know each other if we need to get to know each other it's not that level of showing each other's families why should you want to see my family does not make sense so if he wants to see your family you should see his family too and if he is open to show you his family talk to you about his family then you know the guy is the one these are vivid examples that is why i'm bringing you these stories so that you can relate to the tips i have been giving you yes dear beautiful ladies this is all to help you so peter was such a good guy to introduce Thelma to the relatives that is a step forward that i was talking about in my past video another thing that they talked about while chatting was each other's culture yes and peter tried to teach Thelma about his culture <laughs> and when Thelma told me about this i asked her please tell us some of hungarian cultures if someone wants to date a guy from hungary what to expect or some of the things that people should know about men from hungary so she tells us that if you're going to date a guy from hungary you know they are loving men very very loving very caring they are family men they really care so much about family and friends most of their free time they will spend it with family and friends so you should know that if you date a guy from hungary his family is everything and his friends matters so so much another thing that she told us they love food i think everyone loves food but she says these people loves food <laughs> They like their belly so, so much. That is why in their meals, they include lots of fats, bread, and meat. Yes, so I think this helps you. <laughs> then she made an example that really made me laugh a lot. She was like, I can watch Peter finish the whole chicken. <laughs> <laughs> these people can eat <laughs> even a big pizza he can eat it by himself the whole of it <laughs> yeah but you know what guys even italians can eat i told you when you go to the parties oh my god you see food coming 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 you eat 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 never finish <laughs> yeah so guys i want to add a tip here a bit guys <laughs> on this if you're chatting the guy you found him on online dating apps or even in real life and then you are at that stage of getting to know each other these things will help you talk about his culture talk about food talk about what he likes talk about his hobbies all these will help you keep the conversation flowing so guys we see everything was going very very well between them but we need to know <laughs> did they face any challenges like in their long distance relationship she tells you yes they faced a lot of challenges and challenge number one was misunderstanding <laughs> 
this has been happening to lots of couples you know you can communicate and sometimes you misunderstand each other happens a fight <laughs> right but that means that couple is real you can't be in a relationship without misunderstandings without fights <laughs> and her biggest problem was she's someone who believes in face-to-face -face communication than texting or talking on the phone so that is why they used to misunderstand each other another challenge was that she said it was a struggle is physical connection lack of intimacy she says it can be very miserable <laughs> yeah but how did they solve these problems number one they decided to put like a timetable of how many times they should talk on a video call but texting and calling each other normally this was daily it helped them very very much so we see she talked about physical connection <laughs> how did they solve that was she sending the photo of her goodies <laughs> To bring that physical connection <laughs> no she wasn't sending nude photos any online sex not at all guys but what they did they could sex talk she says maybe she could be wrong but this really this helped them very very much because you know guys when you're chatting with a guy you attach yourself you are in a love relationship <laughs> you miss each other right and this person is miles and miles away from you so sex talking helped i think i talked about this when i shared a video of when to give your goodies <laughs> i told you guys yes you can sex talk to spice things up yes <laughs> so peter never asked for nude photos from her they were chatting normally talking of normal things family hobbies culture food and all that <laughs> then when it reaches a time to sex talk they sex talked yes but it's not that they started chatting immediately then started sex talking no guys so don't misunderstand me on this if a guy is serious he's gonna be talking of normal things doesn't start a conversation with a sex talk so guys they continued chatting sharing each other's daily activities everything was going very well talking on a video call because i watched her long distance relationship story on instagram guys you can follow this couple it is such a lovely couple peter x Telma. so she was sharing her long distance relationship journey on instagram and i saw that she was in love so i asked her when did you fall in love with peter <laughs> she told me bella after four months of chatting i was totally in love with him <laughs> oh my god love is really beautiful and this photo here made me ask her this question so she answered it very well she was in love already you know what we can be in bad relationships but when you find the one you will feel it and this will make you very happy you will fall in love with a guy due to the love that he will be giving you so guys after five months of chatting communicating Peter was ready to invite Telma to Sweden. Yes, he is from Hungary, but based in Sweden. So they went through all the visa process, all the documents needed, and the day for the visa interview arrived, Telma went for the visa interview, but unfortunately, guys, she did not get the visa. They denied her the visa. She got really frustrated, disappointed, but Peter told her, don't worry, we will make a way to meet and I will come in December to meet you. This was last year, December, guys. <laughs> what do we learn from here? Last time I told you guys, when you are in a relationship and the guy you are dating makes things easy for you doesn't want to complicate the situation you know he is the one because after being denied the visa peter was by her side told her not to worry because he had a plan <laughs> yes we should date men 
who have got a plan i've been denied the visa what next don't answer me you are not a fortune teller you should have a plan a way forward yes so friends after being denied the visa everything continued normally they continued chatting because they had a way forward they had the next plan so here comes another question that i asked telma <laughs> if peter was spoiling her if he was sending money to her if he was sending gifts to her this is to help you guys who is dating someone it can be on online dating apps or out there to know how other relationships are how to be in a relationship with a white guy <laughs> not telling you to ask for things no you just know you just get the experience okay so she said yes peter was spoiling her sending her gifts and it's true guys if you go on her instagram you will see some clips of her trying on the gifts that peter used to send to her yes oh my god love is beautiful he also sends her money monthly through online banking she says never asked him money but he did that out of love i told you guys when you're dating a guy and he does things without being asked out of love the only thing you can do is to appreciate and just know that guy is the one don't go to the dating apps or don't go out there and start searching for another one no <laughs> just stick to him so she tells us that he continued sending money and at some point she was like no please you need to stop <laughs> but he kept on sending and she says that this will end when they get married start living together she's now used receiving money from him she doesn't want him to stop <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys when you're dating a guy and he takes a good care of you it really feels very very good so guys the time for peter go visit telma in december came last year but guess what something happened peter could not go to nigeria to meet telma because of work he was supposed to go on a work trip to america this made telma very very angry but still believed that they are going to meet because peter told her i am going to come in march this year so i asked telma did you believe that he will really come and that trip to america did you believe him because some guys will tell you i have traveled for a business trip but you come to find out it's not true so did you believe him and why did you believe him what made you believe him she answered me yes bella i believe he will come due to all the actions he was showing me i've been telling you if you're dating a guy he should show you the actions because actions speaks louder than words <laughs> and with the business trip to america peter used to send her the photos and the videos of him in america plus the other friend who got married in south africa lives in america so she asked the friend to confirm so guys we learn something here no matter you believe the guy your intuition tells you he is the one always confirm i'm going to be repeating this so that you guys can know it's very very important if a guy tells you something make sure you always confirm just like the way telma confirmed through a friend if peter is really in america for a business trip so it's true yes peter was in america for a business trip they continued chatting time passed march came <laughs> the time that he was supposed to go meet telma <laughs> he promised to remember and again guys he did not get the permission from his work so he couldn't go to nigeria it failed <laughs> but telma kept on believing in him though it was a challenge like i said they have got an instagram account 
so she used to share everything and people used to bring really negative comments saying that their relationship is not real sometimes it can be very very frustrating but what i am advising you guys when you are in a relationship with a guy you see the guy is good you see all good signs that he is the one never listen to anyone because it's you that is dating that guy yes dear beautiful ladies because listening to different people <laughs> it can lead you to give up on that relationship it can lead you to doubt that guy it can lead you to start fighting with that guy and that relationship ends you make them happy because <laughs> that's what they wanted so don't give it to them so guys if you're chatting with a guy and then he keeps on promising you i am going to come i am going to come <laughs> he tells you i am coming in january he does not come then says i am coming in july then he does not come you know it reaches at a point you have to tell that guy you know what if you're not coming better tell me the truth or you need to find out if there's some red flags you ignored but with peter guys after not getting the free time from work in march told telma i am coming in august which is this year because i have free days and yes august arrived oh my god Thelma was super excited to know that Peter is going to Nigeria. I remember watching her story, counting down the hours, <laughs> saying that the plane is almost landing. So she went at the airport to wait for Peter. Peter arrived and she tells us that when she saw him, was very, very happy, had to touch her heart first before hugging him because different thoughts was running through her mind asking herself questions what if now he's here doesn't find me pretty like that day when he saw me at the wedding <laughs> what will happen and then lose interest <laughs> she was very very nervous because it had passed one year and plus 16 months from the time they first met so she had to hold her heart and then hugged him so tightly it was a very magical moment so after the airport they went to the hotel where peter had booked i know what you're thinking girl <laughs> i know <laughs> goodies <laughs> So, did Thelma give her goodies for the first time? Peter? <laughs> the answer is no. She did not share her goodies, but she was ready to share the goodies to Peter. <laughs> She's in love, guys. <laughs> but Peter wasn't ready, so they decided no goodies till they get married. But they have done everything except penetration. <laughs> Kids go to bed. <laughs> yeah, so no goodies. So you guys can see still exist white men who can wait till marriage. So after spending the night together, the next day had to go visit Telma's parents. <laughs> so they went, the parents were very surprised excited her sister asked her where did you get this cute oibo man <laughs> then Tilma told her and she was like i'm so happy for you this is good and by the way guys if you want to know if peter brought gifts to Tilma and Tilma's family yes he brought lots lots of gifts he never came empty-handed <laughs> how can you go in africa empty-handed <laughs> They will not give you a wife or <laughs> you want to live well with Africans, you have to go with gifts. They don't have to be expensive, but we really, really like gifts. This is the truth. <laughs> so they spent very good day with Thelma's family. Everyone was very happy that they ended. They returned to the hotel where Peter was staying. And the next day, they started their tour. They have toured different, different places in Nigeria. I am going to be writing the names of the places because some of the words, I couldn't pronounce them. If you're Nigerian, you will know those places but they have really toured she told me they went to the art gallery they went to the national park they went to different different tourist attraction places so 
talking about gifts, this has reminded me, Toma told me that Peter finds African culture very weird <laughs> and strange, especially how Africans are so fascinated and obsessed with witchcraft. <laughs> this is so funny <laughs> but it is what it is peter <laughs> that is our african culture <laughs> things are like that <laughs> and we can't change them he also got surprised of how african governments can be very corruptive taking advantage of their citizens it's like that peter we pray that one day things changes with our african governments but guys, Toma tells us Peter is ready to learn African culture, though it's weird, but he has found love in Africa. <laughs> so he is trying his best to learn. And also Toma is learning his culture, even his language. She says his language is so, so hard. <laughs> Took her long to learn I love you <laughs> in Peter's language, which is Hungarian. But she has also learned Swedish, which is very, very important. Because guys, the next plan, Toma is going to Sweden in November to see Peter's family, see Peter's alive, not to get married. <laughs> they return back to Nigeria cause their wedding will be in Nigeria. And I promise you guys, when they get married, I am going to give you an update. Just stick here. So guys, we have another thing to learn from this. I have been advising you that if a guy invites you go visit him don't be like no i am so scared i cannot go visit him maybe he's gonna sell me if everything this guy has been doing to you is good shows he is the one for me i would advise you go visit him see his family see his life but not to get married at first don't be in a hurry to get married first go see his life if everything is okay return to your country then plan to get married so guys after four days peter being in nigeria did a surprise to telma she tells us peter took her out and they were walking but peter was behind her he stopped to give a phone to someone else she thought maybe peter wanted that person to take a photo of them that is why he gave the phone to that person so when she turned back she found peter on his knee with a cute diamond engagement ring oh my god it was a surprise she was so so happy asked her to marry him and she said yes congratulations girl <laughs> another thing that we learn i told you if you're dating a guy the relationship should go forward peter went to nigeria to meet telma but what did he do he took the relationship to the next level by proposing which is a very good thing not a guy that comes in africa he tells you that i love you but your relationship remains stagnant the only thing that went forward was you giving the goodies <laughs> <laughs> that is the only progress which is a very very bad progress if a guy is not showing actions if a guy is not taking the next step you shouldn't give your goodies please please dear beautiful ladies so observe when a guy comes to visit you what next step is he going to do? We remember Mwansa's story. Jan went with wedding documents to Zambia for the first time to meet Mwansa because he was like, if everything goes well, we are going to get married. So please, ladies, learn from this. So friends, that is how Telma met Peter. That is their beautiful love story. Let us wish them luck, guys, and cheers to the two of you. So quickly to tell us advice to you ladies who are searching for love. It can be on online dating apps or even in real life. So because she found someone in real life, she gives you an advice that pair online dating apps with offline don't only have one strategy. So the offline strategy, she advises you that if you are interested in interracial dating, then put yourself out there go to these great events in your city who knows you might find the one join different activities i remember when i was still in tanzania 
people used to go to Kilimanjaro Marathon so that they can meet white guys. <laughs> so join different activities, go to places where these white men hang out. <laughs> that is Telma's advice. That is Telma's advice and I'm going to add to that. Remember the video I did about white men in Africa. It's going to help you very, very much if you're going to put yourself out there to look for white men who are in Africa. Second advice from Telma, be yourself, set boundaries. When you are in a long distance relationship, communication is the key. So dear friends, I really hope you enjoyed this love story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super good. Comment below what you think about this love story. And I love you so much guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Join the family. Until next time guys, you are always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.